right, so good afternoon, everybody. Um, I want to talk to you about um, when you are, um, how to do MLA formatting for your, uh, like for the citation for a website. Now, I'm first going to start off with Google Scholar. So I did this, um, um, this was the search I did the other day. And um, so I found one that I thought was good. It was this one. Okay. So um, we talked about how this was good because um, this was a good journal, it was trustworthy, um, and I may want to, I think I would end up using it, okay? So uh, what I want to do to keep track of this, I, I do need to do the citation because we, for this, for our argumentative paper, we're going to use the research cards like we did on the, um, the, on the previous paper on the report, okay? Um, you can, uh, you can, I would like you to have a new file, but you, you probably end up using both files for your argumentative paper in the end. So, um, what we're going to do, I want you, we're going to look for three to five sources from online to put on here. Um, so, but I need to have this MLA Works Cited section. I want to fill that out first, okay? So, the, remember, if we're using Google Scholar, the good thing about Google Scholar is that it will do the citation for us. We just have to click um, this quotation mark right here. And then it'll have citation, uh, the citation in all these different formats. MLA is at the top because it's used probably the most often than APA. Um, I've never heard of anyone using Vancouver. I'm sure someone does. So I'm going to select that and Control C for my copy. And I'm going to paste it here, Control V. Okay. Um, and I, I do want to go ahead and put it in. No, hold on. I'm going to put this in Times New Roman myself. The reason I want to do that is because it got rid of the, um, the italics for the, the journal name, and that is needed. Okay, so um, this has more than one author. Okay, you'll see, and you know, I'm going to show you how to do the parenthetical or index citation that's going to go there. Um, but usually with the more than one author, it's going to be like this, chill, verse, and then at all okay. and then we'll see and so that'll show you I'll put a comma there and so that shows that there's more than one author there's usually that's there's going to be more than two authors if they use that okay so that would be my first one but what if I that and that's fine I got that from you know Google Scholar it's going to help me find it again um, but what if I have a trouble and you know I, I will if I use this okay well I'm going to be able to find um, Right, I'm gonna go find something here. And like here's the CDC website. Um, let's see, and so here's the symptoms. I, I may wanna use this, it's gonna be very useful because that's what I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna compare and uh, turn this into an argumentative paper about virus versus like the plague and any other ways things are treated, okay? Well, maybe like what we've learned and how we need to learn more. All right, so I wanna use this, but um, there's no, I don't see anything on here. Sometimes I might have a bottom. Nope, there's nothing for citation. So what do I do? How do I cite this? Because I want something that looks like this, right? And it's set up this way. So one of the things I can do is go and find all this information and make sure I put the periods in the right place and all that. Um, but there is something else I can do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to references at the top, okay? And so um, Microsoft Word will actually do your works cited and your references page. You just insert the information and it'll create it for you. So um, I'm going to come over here. Now, one of the first things I need to do, because I have the styles in alphabetical order, um, I need to change where it says APA to MLA. Okay, so make sure you do that because APA is obviously not MLA. When I see it, I automatically, I know right away, like, oh, they didn't change it. Um, so we do want to change from APA to MLA right here. And again, we're in the References tab. All right, then I want to click Manage Sources. Okay, and I'm going to start off. I'm going to click New. And what kind of source is this? Well, it's not a book. I'm going to look for, and they have all these different sources, um, reports and journal articles and websites. Oh, that's the one I need, right? Website. Um, but also sound recordings and things like that. So website. All right, so let me come back here. I need to find the author's name, name of web page, year, all that stuff on here. All right, so do I have an author besides the CDC? 
is there a human name usually there's going to be something up here if there is exists um where it's located um and no okay and so it actually it even says it says where they got the information from national center for immunization and respiratory diseases so they gave me their um but we have u.s department of health and human services would that be our author perhaps uh, the center for disease control perhaps okay actually that's what i am going to go for though uh, centers for disease control and prevention i don't want to put just cdc um, because this is something a little bit more formal uh, now i don't want to put it here because what it's going to do is it's going to move things around because it's looking for a last name so i'm going to click corporate author because i don't have a human author and, and is it centers let's see i want to double check centers for disease control and prevention center all right so uh, notice I capitalize everything just the same way that they capitalize everything. What I, anywhere they capitalize, I capitalize as well. Okay, so that's important because, you know, just like someone's name, you want to capitalize the right words. All right, the name of the web page is going to be um, not just CDC web page, right? It's going to be this, Symptoms of Coronavirus. And I can copy and paste it, or I can just type it, it's up to you. Okay, then I need the year it was published. Okay, so the year it's published, and the, uh, down here at the bottom, a lot of times this exists down here um, when they're last, last reviewed. So this is March 20th, 2020. Right, if it was said 2017, I'd be like, oh, so the year is 2020, March 20. Okay, year access. Well, that's today. I'm gonna use today's date, right? Okay, still 2020 month april and day access is the 16th right so notice, by the way every time i click in something it'll give you uh, an example of what would go there okay um, and so anytime you click somewhere it'll give you like oh what would go there and so you know like the month all right um for medium i usually go ahead and i um, unless I'll put the website there, it, it doesn't, but for medium, it just says document. So I could just say article, you know, and that's what it is. So I'll just press okay. Okay. Now that's in there. All right. And what I can do actually right here, when I'm clicked in here, I can go ahead and click references and I could say insert just insert bibliography and it's just going to put that one there that I have so far. At least it's supposed to. Where to put it? Oh, I put it at the bottom. Didn't it? Where'd it go? <laughs> All right, let me try again. So, um, so references, bibliography, insert bibliography. There we go. All right, and so it's put it in there. Um, and even put it with the hanging indention for me, which is nice. I do need to change the font. But other than that, um, it's there for me. So times New Roman and then 12. Okay, because when I go to put this in my essay, I do at the end of my essay, my work side page, I want everything there. All right, and so what would I put in my parentheses here? Well, in my parentheses here, I'm gonna put what goes at the what's at the beginning right here. So it's for centers for disease. control and prevention. So any quotes I get from here, uh, that's what I'm gonna put at the end of it, whether it's the direct quote or the paraphrase quote. Okay, so we are gonna use paraphrase this time, but that's gonna be my stuff this time, okay? All right, and so that will go after any, any information I get from this website into my essay. All right, so then let me find another one. I'll do the same thing, okay. Uh, let's see. Remember, I, I was looking for stuff. I was like, oh, what's medical news today? Okay. Actually, you know what I do? I want, to, I want something different. I also want long-term effects. 
So I'm going to say that long term Okay, and let's see New York Mag, uh, ABC News. Okay, it's possible today. LA Times. Okay, um, this was this was far up on our list of trustworthy sites. Politico. All right, so okay, it's going to change the world permanently. Here's how. All right, that looks very promising. Okay, and. So this is good. It actually shows, like right here, it's nice because it actually has the, um, it shows you it's definitely a corporate author. They don't have the personal name of the person who wrote it. Um, and so I want to use this. I'll accept your cookies. Yes, yes, of course. All right, so I'm going to use this website. And so what I'm going to do here, um, I'm going to do the same thing. Now. I, it is going to do something a little weird, but I'll, I'll share that with you later. So I'm going to go to references again. Okay. Okay, references. And then uh, I'm still in MLA. I'm going to manage sources so I can add another resource. Okay, I'm going to click new. So I'm going to do a new one. All right, so the author. Again, this is the corporate author. And this said, what did it say? Politico Magazine as the as an author by Politico Magazine. Okay. Um, I also need to show you one that has a regular author. Okay. Okay, so Politico Magazine, then name of the web page. Again, that's the specific web page here. Coronavirus will change the world permanently. Here's how. Okay. I'm just going to copy and paste this to help speed things up. Control C. Down here, control V. Okay. Then a uh, year. Let's look at their web page. Um, I know I said 2020. 2020, so 319, 2020. 2020, March 19. Your access 2000. Oh, 2020. Month access April, day access 16, okay, medium um, magazine article. Okay. All right. So are there any other fields? Is there something I can add? So if you want, if you like want everything, you could do that. Name of website. That's also nice to have. So Politico. Um, and then um, does this one also have where you could put there it is the URL. So you may want to add that too. That's a good idea so that way you can find it later. So I'm gonna click here and control C for my URL and control V right there. So I have that whole thing right there as well. I'm gonna press okay. All right, so I have that one. And I'm gonna click references. And I'm gonna click bibliography. Now it's gonna do something weird. It's gonna go ahead and put both. I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this one. You can. It, it, I know it's a little confusing, but I did want to just make sure that they just it just inserted for me. Okay. And then let me make sure this is also Times New Roman. All right. And right now it's actually too small. Okay. Um, I don't know why that keeps on going back up. Uh, and then 12. Okay, so I have my work side of that. Again, that's what's going to go into my stuff. Now, what's cool right here, by the way, I don't have to type it like that. I can just go again to references and say insert citation. And I want this one. And it makes a citation for me. It'll do the same thing up here. I could have done that here as well. Um, I just it just goes ahead and puts the author and so what's cool is as I'm typing because I have these up there um, Like as I'm doing my quotes, I can just click um, References insert citation and put it and it'll type it for me. So I don't have to like keep on typing it Okay, and the reason that's one of the reasons I have y'all do this is just because you know to make sure you have it And also you can copy and paste it But again, I can go references insert citation and select that citation No period will go at the end when you 
make sure the period's always going after it. But that, that's cool right there. And so again, as I'm typing my paper, I could put that in there as well, or as I'm typing my quotes here. I can't do that with this one because um, it, I didn't put it directly in there. Now, could I go back and do that? Yes. Well, actually, hold on, let me go to, I wanna add the website for this one. So I'm gonna go to Manage Sources and I wanna edit this one. Edit. And then I'm gonna say show all bibliography fields so I can get those other bibliography fields and say um, cdc.gov. And um, let's see, what was the name of the... Maybe it's not. No, European Respiratory Journal. Sorry. Oh no, that's the wrong one. I'm looking at this one. It was the CDC one. All right. That was this one at the very top. Or the previous page, previous search. Here we go. And so I'm just going to actually put CDC uh, right there. So I'll put CDC. All right. And then um, URL. I do want the URL. Again, especially so I can come and find it again later. Control C. And then I'm going to scroll down where it says URL. And then Control B. Okay. So I'll press OK. The source exists in your master list and current document. Do you want to update both lists with this, these changes? And I say yes. And what's fabulous about that um, is, let's see, well, this one should have. This one changed, but um, let's see, this one should have changed too. I'll just have to. It, usually, it's supposed to, ideally, it would have changed that and added the things that I added in there, but that's okay. Let me get rid of this part. All right, so anyway, it's, it's updated that. All right. And so now I have my website stuff, okay? Now, if I end up with a website, and I'm, just in case you end up with a website that has an actual author, like it's an article from a magazine and they have an actual human author, well, then how does that look? Um, so I wanna show you that real quick. Okay. And so it is nice that, and you can do this with the books, you can do that as well, and it kind of just nice, it keeps track of everything. And when, when, you, when you go down to your Works Cited page, when it's time to insert your Works Cited, if you have all your stuff in there, you just click Works, you know, Insert Works Cited under References, and like, like on, you click Bibliography and then click Works Cited, and it'll put the Works Cited at the end of the, the essay. I'm like, bam, I'm like, there you go. Um, but uh, let's see, I want to click Manage Sources. Now say, for example, instead of a, a corporate author, if I have a regular author, okay, um, what I'm going to do, um, and especially if you have multiple authors, I'm going to just put it up. I'm going to say, I don't know, I'll say, all right, so I'm going to say my husband is one of the authors, okay, I'm going to click add, and what it does is actually adds his name. Notice it also took magazine, comma, politico, now it looks like we have like two authors, um, but it puts the first alphabetically usually. Um, and so what that so anytime you need to add a, a human author, I would still do this first so you can just make sure you put the last name, first name, and middle name, and it'll put it in the order that you need it. Okay. So actually, let me go ahead and edit. I'm gonna delete these. <laughs> so let me uh, delete. And I'll just delete that too. Okay. And then come back to corporate author. <laughs> Anyway, and so that's how you're going to do your MLA citations for websites. And then um, we'll close that. And that should hopefully help you out to make sure you're doing everything correctly. And then I'm going to come back. The next uh, video is going to how to um, change the direct quotes from the websites and to paraphrase quotes. Okay.